In Logos, you're going to discover that you have a lot of books in your library, but of course you have your favorite books. For example, we have a lot of Bibles, but we have our favorite Bibles. We have a lot of commentaries, but we have our favorite commentaries. And in Logos, our favorite books are called our preferred books or our prioritized books. And so in this tutorial, I want to show you how to designate your preferred, prioritized, or favorite books. So let's take a look at my screen. Notice my home page is currently open, so I'm going to click the home icon to close the home screen. Now I want you to click and hold on the library icon and drag it to the middle of your Logos desktop. So click and hold on the books icon, dragging it right to the center of the Logos desktop. So here is our electronic bookshelf. I want you to move to the upper right, and you'll notice there's a drop down icon. It's called the view icon. And I want you to change it to the details view. Details view will give us basically a spreadsheet of all of the books or resources in our library. Notice going across the top of the spreadsheet, we have column headers, title, author, type, and so on. You can customize this spreadsheet. All you have to do is right click on a column header and then from the menu, select the columns that you want to appear in your spreadsheet. So I'm going to leave that for you to do. And then notice on the left hand side, I currently have my sidebar open. If your sidebar is not visible in the upper left of the library, there's an icon. You can click it and the sidebar will disappear. Click it again and it will reappear. The sidebar houses filters or facets so we can quickly search for specific resources. Now we want to display our prioritized list of resources. Go to the extreme upper right of the library. There's the three dots. This is called the panel menu. Pretty much everything we open in Logos opens in a panel. And in the upper right, there is a menu, the three dots. We call it, hence, the panel menu. Click on it. And you will notice about a third of the way down a line item, prioritize resources. Prioritize resources. So notice the list is called prefer these resources. Keep in mind the word preferred and prioritize are synonyms. They refer to our favorite books in Logos. And we're really not going to prioritize that many books, but I do want to get you started with five primary categories of resources. First of all, you want to prioritize some Bibles. You want to select your favorite Bibles. So how do we do this? Notice in the sidebar, there is a section of filters called type. I want you to click on that, expanding type. Type is how the Logos makers of our software classify or organize our resources. And they put all of our Bibles in the Bible type. So come on down and click on the Bible filter or facet, and this will list all of your Bibles. And then notice there's a language section. You can click on that and you can zero in on specific Bibles in a specific language. So I'm going to click on English. So here are my English Bibles. Then you'll see at the top of the library, there is a find box and you can type in the abbreviation of your favorite Bible. So I'm going to click in the find box and type LEB for the Lexham English Bible. So this is the translation from the makers of our software, Faithlife. And so if you want it in your preferred list, all you have to do is click and hold on it and drag it. So I'm going to drag over the Lexham English Bible. It is now the first Bible in the list. The first Bible is your preferred or prioritized Bible. That's going to be very important. So remove LEB. And then you can type a second Bible. So let's say that I want the New American Standard. I'll type NASB and I will drag that one over. That's all there is to prioritizing your Bibles. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all of this, but I want you to prioritize at least five Bibles. Very important. There's a feature in Logos called Top Bibles, and that references your first five Bibles. So make sure you prioritize your favorite five. Now we want to prioritize some Bible dictionaries. So I want you to click in the breadcrumb area, the word all, and that will remove all of your filters. That line at the top is called the breadcrumb area. Go ahead and click all. 
Now we want, as I said, to prioritize some Bible dictionaries. So I want you to come over here to the type section. You may have to click more. And I want you to find the type encyclopedia. Encyclopedia will house all of your Bible dictionaries. All of your Bible dictionaries are in the type encyclopedia. And so you could go through the list and prioritize your favorite Bible dictionary. So in the find resources, I'm going to type LBD for Lexham Bible Dictionary. And then, you know, drag it right over. So you could go through and prioritize several Bible dictionaries if you want. For the sake of time, again, I'm just going to prioritize one. Again, click all. Now we want to prioritize some Bible commentaries. So in the sidebar, find the type section, and then all of our Bible commentaries, commentaries on the Bible, are housed in the type Bible commentary. So click on that. Here are all the commentaries that you own. Now for purposes in an upcoming tutorial, as you will see, I want you to prioritize a one-volume commentary that covers the whole Bible. There's a good chance you have the Bible Knowledge Commentary. So in the find box, I'm going to type BKC, and there you'll see the Bible Knowledge Commentary. If you don't have this one, I want you to prioritize JFB for Jameson Fawcett Brown. You probably have that one. So go ahead and prioritize a commentary. Your first commentary, as I said in an upcoming tutorial, you'll see why you want to be a commentary that's one volume and covers the whole Bible. Now you can remove the initials in the find box and go through and prioritize your favorite commentaries. And you'll see why this is important again in upcoming tutorials. So prioritize at least five Bibles, at least one Bible dictionary, and then a commentary that covers the whole Bible, and then you can start prioritizing your favorite commentaries. Now we want to prioritize a Hebrew dictionary and a Greek dictionary. So again, in the breadcrumb area, click all, and in the type section, we are looking for lexicon. And so you could keep clicking more until you find lexicon, or to the right of filter, you can click the magnifying glass and then start typing lexicon. Just click in the box and type lexicon and you will see underneath type lexicon. So I'm going to click on that. And here are all of our Hebrew and Greek dictionaries. The lexicon type houses all of our Hebrew and Greek dictionaries or lexicons. Okay, now I want you to click the X in the find or filter box because now we want to get back to the subject category. So click on subject, and we are looking for Hebrew language. So click on Hebrew language. We want all of our Hebrew dictionaries. So do you see what we did? We did the lexicon type and the subject Hebrew. And so now we have all of our Hebrew dictionaries. So look in the list, and I'm simply going to get the one at the top, a bridge, Brown Driver Briggs, and drag that over. If you're familiar with your Hebrew dictionaries, prioritize your favorites. You can always come back here and change it if you like. Now, in the breadcrumb area, I want you to get rid of the Hebrew language and then click on Greek language. And now here are your Greek dictionaries. You probably have a few more Greek dictionaries, so you can look through the list. I'm going to click on the one that we affectionately call BDAG and drag that right over. So here's what I'm saying. You want to prioritize your favorite books, and there are five primary categories. You want Bibles, Bible dictionaries, commentaries, Hebrew dictionaries, and Greek dictionaries, because you will see in upcoming tutorials, the software will open resources by default, and you want Logos opening your favorites. Now also, if you work with a lectionary, you want to find lectionary in the type category and prioritize your favorite. Also in the type category, you will locate calendar devotional, and you can prioritize your favorite calendar devotional if you like. Those would be two secondary categories. So focus on those seven categories, and you will be in great shape for setting your favorite books in Logos. And again, in upcoming tutorials, we will start using these favorite books.